This is one of the great treasures of the Museum of the American Revolution's collection, a brass cap worn by a Hessian soldier during the Revolutionary War. Now these Hessians were German-speaking troops that were rented out by British King George III for service in America. These Hessians fought alongside the British Army, and about 30,000 German-speaking troops served alongside the British Army during the Revolutionary War. And the largest group of them came from one principality called Hesse Castle. Now, Germany as we know it today didn't exist. Instead, it was made up of different uh, principalities ruled by dukes and counts and other noblemen. Hesse Castle sent the largest grouping of troops, and that's why we know them today as Hessians, and they also called them that in the period. And so the Hessian soldier that wore this particular cap came from Hesse Castle, and it's decorated with the symbols of the leader of Hesse Castle. These symbols include a lion that's crowned and holding a scepter. It also includes a cipher at the bottom center there, interlocking letters F and L for Friedrich Landgrave, which was re refers to Friedrich, the uh, ruler of Hesse Castle. Landgrave is another word for duke. And then when you look at the back of this cap, you can see that there are a number of symbols on the back of it, and also that some pieces are missing. And that's because this particular cap was found in the mud of the Delaware River. And so only the brass portions of the cap survive. The iron and wool pieces no longer exist. But when you look at the symbols at the back, you see symbols of soldiers of the 1700s, including uh, flags, uh, drums, and a flaming bomb. Now imagine these brass pieces, neatly polished, glistening in the sun on the battlefield. These caps help to make these soldiers look really impressive and fearsome. So imagine looking across the battlefield, seeing troops in these tall caps coming towards you. It was really an impressive sight to see.